ready to go. All right. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, just doing my usual. Um, just going through the uh, Final Fantasy forums, uh, and I found a found another I found another good uh, forum topic. I but I think I've done this one before. I can't remember where I uh, I went through my. I went through all my Twitch uploads and see if it was in there. I don't don't recall seeing it, but uh, I, but figured out what the hell. This is uh something I haven't done in a long time. I haven't done anything about mentors in a long time. If I actually did a video, like I said, I don't remember if I did it or not. But I'm kind of babbling right now. I'm in kind of a hurry right now because I gotta I gotta go eat lunch and there's still some air running I gotta do, but. I figure I better do this now before I forget later. Um, by a girl named Kiko. And um, and like always, I don't mean to call anybody out or try not trying to invade their privacy or anything like that. It's just easier for me to speak it than type it. Um, well, I guess I could. Uh, and like I usually do, I just go down the post and just comment on them. I was mean mentors there. Oh, and I'm kind of a hidden challenge in here. Apparently, uh, English is Kiko's second language. So I, I, um, I glossed over the first post and oh my god. It's gonna be a big time guessing game on here. I was mean mentors there to help newbies. The it's too easy to get this is I don't get this because I know you have to have like I think it's at least like 300 300 comms and you, there, the comms aren't that easy to get especially if you're going in as a DPS or huh good luck you know and you have to have a, at least a, a level 60 in like like in a comp in a war in a disciple of war class you have to have a 60 in a Disciple of Magic class, and you have to have at least. I think you need a 60 in at least one crafting class, possibly all of them. I can't remember the specifics on that. Um, you need at least a level 60 in a gathering class. Um, I think there was another requirement where you had a. What was it? You had to craft like a thousand items or something like that. You also had to. You also had to either craft or, and or gather like 100 collectibles so I, I don't I don't get where the easy part is because it takes it takes a fair amount of work on your part to get there I was today with my new coming cousin from Bo Extreme never been there after seeing three of us had a newbie symbol uh, as far as Okay, now on this one here, it might have been a ba it might have been a bad call, but you know if you're just not in the mood to like to deal with newbies, then turn the damn crown off. As far as I know, it's it's toggleable. You can turn that crown on and off. If you don't want to have to deal with the newbies, turn it off. I mean, otherwise, if you're gonna get three people in there and you're gonna complain and rage quit about it, that's your fault. Okay. And like again, I I'm starting to I'm beginning to I got a feeling uh, I already know what Kiko's gotta say. He's probably going to complain about um, you know a lot of them are just going after the mount that's what I'll want to get out they're not a lot of the mentors aren't in it to actually help newbie players they're just wanting the rewards attached to it I can't it's coming back to me now I did make a video about this I don't remember the title of it I can't exactly pinpoint where I, where it was on my uh, twitch uploads page but um no, I forgot what I was going to say. Damn it.
Oh, it's called incentivizing virtue. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm one of those where, you know, your mommy and daddy probably taught you it too. Virtue is its own reward. I mean, but this is, this is what happens when, uh, when they try to put uh, incentives and bonuses and whatnot and whatnot for uh, actually going out of your way to help people. So now you got people that got to take advantage of the system. You know, they want the amount. Uh, you know, they'll... Um, I've never been on the receiving end of this myself. I've never seen it happen, but I'm pretty sure it's out there. Um, mentors that just tell people, like, the basic, you know, basic stuff that they probably already knew. Um not really going in depth or actually trying to explain things to new people. Um, I bet a lot of them probably just say, look on the wiki, you'll find a better answer. Or, hey, just go on, not to be a jerk, but go on Google, you'll you'll find it on there. You know, like not really actually wanting to spend time with the newbies, which which is also one of the reasons why I'm, which is, excuse me, which is one of the reasons why I'm not, I've got no interest in becoming a mentor. And no thanks. I mean, I'm not, I'm here to, you know, I'm here to play the game, not be a hand holder. So, I mean, cruel, as cruel and cold hearted as that might sound, I mean, at least, you know, at least I'm not getting the crown next to my name just to, you know, as a mere decoration. So, just, you know, and then being a jerk about it after, oh, shut up, I just want the mentor for the crown. I just want the mentor for the mount. Hey, shut up, newbie, leave me alone. You know, at least I'm not doing that. At least I'm honest. And I think I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. I also saw mentors don't know what to do against Prime. Um, I don't have a hard, fast answer to that, but I do have some, uh, I do have some, uh, back, some experience on this, though. Um, especially recently at my job. There's, um, usually it's right around October. The managers at my, at my job rotate. Old ones go out and go somewhere else and do another shift. No ones come in for that were from another shift. Uh, but I, as far as I know, being up, doing this kind of rotation and doing doing the overnight shift that I work at is optional. But I think what had happened was uh, too many people didn't want the nighttime position, and I'm pretty sure that the ones that didn't had done it before and don't ever want to go back to it again. So now now the higher management is now forced or they now have to force other managers to switch switch over into overnights so the night managers that we got now don't have a clue you know we gotta you know we have to now show them how to put the blade in the box cutter and we have to show them how to use a pallet jack and yeah you push his handle here and you go you see how it jacks up Oh, wow, I didn't know that, man. Awesome, thanks. You know, now we got those kind of managers. So, if that's anything to go by, this comes as no surprise to me. Again, I don't... I don't really... Whoop, 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 I don't really know what to do about this. You'd have to add some more... Uh, you'd have to add even... You have to add even more requirements to it like you have to be able to clear all the extreme primals you have to clear all the normal primals you know you have to clear all them before you can become a mentor and it just now that I think about it I actually agree with that but again it that's just going to make it too much of a pain in the butt even for somebody like me that wouldn't have much of an interest in it I'd have even less of an interest in it in doing so if they attacked on these requirements for people played really long time uh, again tough call on that it, on one hand I want to agree with this statement I mean same thing I said in real life about managers you know I, I don't I've never been a fan of uh, somebody going from from a mere cashier all of a sudden making the big leap and bowing into a management position. I, mean, I think they need to get some uh, years under their belt, some uh, work experience under their belt, doing various positions first. 
before they tackle the management position. But on the other hand, if um if you did do this, you're gonna you're not gonna be filling up very many slots because there's not very many people that have had that kind of all around experience in order to become those managers. Same thing here for the mentors. Um I mean yeah. I mean in theoretically, yeah. I mean I'd actually want a mentor that's been around the block a lot has been around the block a while, you know. Actually got some, you know, game experience under their belt before they become mentors. But again, if, if you follow through on that, you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of mentors because there's not that many people that have had, that have been playing the game a while, so. Because you have three different classes at 60. Ah. Uh, I pretty much said the same thing earlier. I've said it before. Um, I had actually kind of grew, well, the raid part, if you're talking like the high-end uh, Savage, and I guess the new tier ultimate for that high-end stuff, that shouldn't be a requirement to be a mentor. I mean, because you're at the really, at the very top, the creme de la creme, you know, the select 1% few. You, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have to be a raider to be a mentor. I really like to help newbies, also when I'm not a mentor. Well, I can't be mentored because I only have tank high and not a heal. Um, I don't understand what she's saying, but I think what she's trying to say is uh, she doesn't have the requirements to be a mentor, but yet she still helps newbies, which is part of kind of a kind of what I said on my last uh mentor video you don't have to be one in order to help people so so there's that as well it's almost a, it's almost an empty achievement just having the crown next to your name when I try to play heal on DD it's nothing for me kill T1 and T3 and all primate both zodiac weapon and all horses by level 50 I have one forty six days playing time with your American summer game blah 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 blah. But why should I not be able to mentor with so much experience while and help newbies? Get into me. And yep. Just have the crown out of his name. I'm getting a like from me, even though I kinda of have some trouble understanding what she's saying. I mean I understand she's probably English is probably the second language for her, but still. Then um, I'm just going to go down the line and just come at everyone else's. Maybe I can find inspiration from them, too. Supposed to change it, too. I kind of said this earlier. I mean, yeah. Uh, killing all the primals and all the raids. It could, you know... It would make you a better mentor, but then again, if they did that, you wouldn't be seeing very many, very many mentors out there. Okay, on this, I agree with right here. Instead of uh, making level sixty the requirement, up it to seventy. Um, uh, then that would also mean that at the start of each expansion, each expansion, every mentor is going to have to is going to have to requalify. They all lose their mentor statuses until they get them back to 70. Then they get the crowns back. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can think of doing is making it so that unsynced runs don't go to your dungeon con. I agree with that. Gotta run with the sink. Cause uh back on back in my FC that happened fairly often. We were um we were doing unsync runs, uh helping newbies um as far as I know you can still get X you can still get XP for running them, I think. Uh, cause when in my back when my FC was active, that we were doing that fairly often. We would bring in like newbies into our group and 
we do want sync runs. We just we just tear through the stuff. But um, I think he can still level up doing that. It's been a long time, but I think he can. But uh, like I said, I'm sounding like a broken record, but in our FC, we did it fairly often. I'll move along. Yep, right there. Separating the battle on crafty. I did not know this. I thought you had to have a... I thought you had to have a 60 in a battle and in a crafting class. I didn't know it was a one or the other. To be fair, yeah, I just thought about this too. Yeah, let me highlight this. There's been times where uh, I've wanted to queue up for a trial. Excuse me, expecting like a level 50, quick and easy. You know, just basically something to kill a little bit of time. But I end up getting Susano, where um, I've only been in there like one time. Um, you know, so I'm not really an expert. Not really knowing what to do, and I'm, you know, getting up. Um, there was another one in there that uh, I think it was his first time and stuff. So we ended up wiping two or three times, and I'm like, bad, bad call on my part, Joe. I gotta leave here. I gotta start getting ready for work. Sorry, guys, gotta go. See ya. Pew, ended up dropping. So been there. Yeah, it's. I think we've all been saying that one too, Corrado. Yeah, I know I've definitely been saying it. If you're not if you're not in the mood to mentor, take the crown off. I, I think I remember reading this somewhere. I think this here is kind of a cool idea too. Instead of a crown, how about a watering can? Because now that I think about it, oh I mean, having a crown next to your name is like having a crown on your head. Oh, I am the king, you know, that kind of thing, you know, and it, the undertone of King Edge, I am almighty, you know, you get rid of that crown to make sure that implies superiority and make it a watering can. You're there to, you know, help grow the sprouts. So that, that's a freaking brilliant idea right there. What the hell? Oh, my controller. A lot of people don't care about me and for the crown. It's, I am starting to sense an echo chamber here. <laughs> I, I guess uh, I guess I should consider myself lucky then, because um, the one on my server, Hyperion, is it? In, I. I can't really recall there ever, ever being a, a really toxic, any toxic moments on there. Or at least not compared to trade chat and wow, oh god. It's like you're falling into a sewer in that place. I fear to enter because it can be really, really cancerous and toxic. You should try the trade chat and wow, baby. It's probably gonna be a lot worse than what I've seen, what I've seen here. Think of certain people are just to show the worst of the community, and it, it's what I said earlier: incentivizing virtue. Cat, 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 cat. That's got that's a creative name right there. She just liked her polish just for the name alone. Um. What's her face? Or what's his face? Corando? No. Yeah. Yeah, Defeat said the same thing. Sink or unsink, it doesn't matter.
some of the responsibility might have uh, might have rested on our FC shoulders back when it was active too. Because like I said, we were taking we were taking in like newbie members, um, people who never played the game before. We bring them into our run. We bring them into our runs, our unsafe runs, just to you know give them a taste of what it's like, uh, get them some XP and stuff, help them level up. Uh, and I believe uh, I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, but it's a level twenty, it's a level twenty dungeon. What one part of that dungeon you have to um, you have to go through and lift, you have to pull levers to lift up all these cages. Oh, I wish I knew the name of it, but it's supposed to be extremely popular for leveling up. But we would, we would take newbies on that one all the time. So, some it could be our fault too. Some of these people that we were helping, helping level up, getting that level sixty, might, probably might be mentors right now that were just in it for the crown. So, okay. Uh, you can be a mentor without having the roulette unlocked. Okay, I don't, I don't know how that works. Um, okay, I, I really can't remember. Savages are not. I'm just reading this. Expected to be old. Uh, okay, this is probably gonna be something I might want to read later on by myself and not part of a video. And besides that, I'm gonna have to go ahead and break off right now. Um, kind of hungry. Want to go get something to eat? And um, I still got to do a bit of grocery shopping too. Kind of running out of food, so uh, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. And like always, if you uh, if you manage to stick with me this far, thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, take care.